okay so now we will see how we can uh, uh, create sharepoint shop sites so as i said before you will get the same uh, structure compared to your sharepoint site because ultimately sharepoint site or sub site both the things are same only thing is it is under a particular site so that's that's the reason we say it a uh, sub site now in this video we will see how we can create sub site uh, in classic sharepoint site uh, where we'll inherit permission from the parent and uh, then we will see how we can create a sub site uh, uh, without inheriting permission the parent uh, permission from the parent a lot of time you will get a requirement saying we don't need the permission from the parent we want individual uh, permission for or the permission particularly for that site only or that sub site only so we will see how how we can create that and uh, then we will see uh, how we can create a, a sub site in modern sharepoint site though this not a very recommended approach but we will see still how we can create sub site over there so i will open uh, the uh, sharepoint site you can see here this is our sharepoint site uh, which is a human resource site now imagine i have a, a, a human resource site and i want to create a site or a sub site uh, for a particular location let's say for hr india or hr uk so we are going to create a sub site for that so we will see one site will one sub site will create uh, by inheriting the permission and one more site will create uh, uh, one more sub site we will create for uh, another uh, another location and then we, we will not inherit the permission so go to the sharepoint site content page so if you'll see here from the settings icon uh, click on site content and again you can see here it is opening the modern uh, um, uh, site content page so i just uh, uh, um, uh, go to the classic sharepoint uh, site content page and in this page if you'll see here down sub site so in this sub site you can see here it is saying click uh, plus add new sub site so click on that and if you'll see here now it is asking us a title so title and description suppose i will say hr india and uh, then you can put a, a description this is optional and then we can provide a url for this suppose i will say hr india i'll give the same uh, url you can see here i didn't give any space over there because else it will take uh, uh, special characters like this in the url now here if you'll see uh, now in the template selection you have two options now here team site with no office 365 group that means it will be a modern sharepoint site but there will not be office 365 group for that the second one you can create a team site classic experience that we already discussed how we can do that normally that is what we do and uh, sometimes you will not see the template so uh, there are certain templates which has not applicable for sub sites so you will not see those templates here now on this if you'll see here we will create a, a classic sharepoint site for uh, this uh, so on this basically uh, you can see here i selected team site classic experience and uh, this permission so if you'll see here actually permission is nothing but we are telling uh, who can access the site now i am saying use same permission as parent site that means if you have permission to the parent site you can uh, visit this sub site as well so because we have inherited the permission permission here now you can see here i inherited the permission and uh, these two things you can see here navigation so display the site on the quick launch of the parent site if you want to display it so that uh, you can actually navigate it you can say yes and then uh, display the site at the top link bar so that means it will come over here uh, in the top link so that we can actually easily visit over there and then navigate inheritance so if you want to inherit the top link uh, um, uh, bar from the parent site you can just say yes so that uh, from the child site or from the sub site you can uh, have the same uh, top navigation so that you can uh, click on the link and you, if you want to go to the parent site you can go over there now click on create so if you'll see here now it will just take uh, some time then it will create uh, the sub site and uh, in this sub site if you'll see here uh, you can see here it created 
uh, so HR India and you can see here uh, that's how the URL is if you will see here sites we had previously human resource now under that it is HR India then site pages slash home dot SPX so if I will create a subsite under this then it will come uh, human resource slash HR India slash let's say HR Bangalore so that will come under this so this is one way how we can create it now if you see here uh, a, a, you can see here it inherited the top link bar as, as we have selected that option and you can see here uh, it has added into the menu now I can click on this and I can go to the main site you can see here now I am in the main site and in the M uh, and in the uh, main site if you see here uh, it also added a, a section called as sub site in the quick launch and added the HR India which we have created now so this is the site now I will just copy this link uh, sorry I will go to the HR India and I'll copy this and I will go to the other user which I have logged in with you can see here logged in with user Bhavna I will just click on that and if you'll see here they don't have access now let me just see if the user has access to our main site so if you'll see here she doesn't have access to the human resource site that's the reason it is saying access denied now let us I will just quickly go and I will share this uh, uh, permission to the user so if you'll see here I will just click on share I will select the user and click on share so once I said it now if I'll go over there you can see here now the user can access the parent site you can see here and can I access the HR India by logged in user is different yes because we selected the permission it will inherit from the parents so that's the reason you can see it here now let's go back to our main site you can see here this is our human resource site now we will create one more uh, sub site and uh, we will not inherit the permission so I'll go to again sites content and you can see here it is now listing this is our website now click on new sub site and I will put here HR uh, let's say UK and I'll put HR UK here without space and then we will select team site and I will say unique permission this time so we will put both the things here and uh, we said unique permission now I will click on create so once you click on create now it will actually ask us to do some permission settings so now if you'll see here now it came back here and it is saying set up group for this site so when actually you will create a site by default these are the groups will be created one is owner group member group and visitor group and if you'll see here now it created a, a new group as HR UK visitor that actually the naming will be your site title and then member or site title then owner so that's how actually it will create the groups now you can see here it is allowing if you have an existing group you can use that or if you'll see here it will create the groups and uh, for the members you can see here I have uh, this my name is there because I have created this now click on OK so once you click on OK now the HR UK site will be created you can see here now the HR UK site is created if I will just copy this URL and I will go to the other user and I will paste it here you can see here the user is saying now HR UK a, you don't have permission to this site if you'll see here we have given the permission to the parent site this user has been said but that's the reason they are accessing or she can access HR India because it is inheriting the permission HR UK is not inheriting the permission so you can see here now you will not be able to access it so this is how we can actually create sub site and uh, this is quite helpful when you have uh, let's say multiple departments you want to create various sub site but you don't want to give everyone permission you want unique permission for uh, for every sites 
so or the subset so in this case you can create a subset without inheriting the permission and you can add the user later when when you will uh, when the it will ask for and those user only will be able to access it next uh, now we will see how we can create uh, a uh, site or a subset in the modern team sets so ideally we should not create subset because uh, that's what is not the recommended approach now by microsoft so but still we will see how we can uh, create it so i will go to the admin center and we will take a uh, site here so if you'll see here uh, the first one you can see here it is uh, a training group site and on this we will see how we can create subset if you'll see here now you will not see a subset option here but if i will go to the site content page you can see here site contains then you can see here i will just exit the yeah now if you'll see here this is the modern experience how it will come and in this case actually content will come and in the tab subset will come and you can see here you your site doesn't have any subset now here click on new and then you can see here new subset click on that and this is the same thing that it, it is asking either you can go for a new site or a uh, unique uh, i mean you, you can inherit the permission you you cannot so let's say i will say training on sharepoint so i will say sharepoint training site and uh, i will have the url only sharepoint and we will create a team site with a uh, no office 365 group you can see here the parent site is a modern site but i can create a sub site having a team site classic experience but ideally you should not do this because later if you want to migrate or something then it will be a problem so let's say i'll create a team site with no office 365 group we'll take the user permission as the parent and everything we will set up like this and click on create So now if you will see here actually it will create a modern site now you can see here it is creating a modern site but there will not be any office 365 group associated with that and you can see here the url training group slash sharepoint so uh, sharepoint training is our site now so this is how we saw how we can create a sub site in uh, modern site as well as in classic site